Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I have this very awesome portable monitor by InnoView that I'm gonna be showing off to you guys. This thing has really made my work um, life a whole lot easier. Just being able to have a monitor that's so portable to be able to travel with and be able to do work on the go. So stick around and I'm gonna show you exactly how to hook up this monitor and what it can do. So first thing first, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's inside the box. I've already been using this monitor for a couple weeks now, but I do wanna show you exactly what comes with the monitor once you um, once you receive it. So as you can see here, you have your power adapter here or your power block. You also have your um, power cable to plug into the monitor to give it power. Aside from that, you have a cleaning uh, cloth here for cleaning the monitor screen, as you can see. You also have your instructions, which are gonna be very useful depending on how you want to connect your monitor, whether it's HDMI, USB-C, or what have you. Whatever your connection type is, you can look through this manual and it will tell you exactly how you need to connect your monitor. You also have a USB to, US, um, to micro USB adapter. You have your USB-C to USB-C cable. You have a USB to, um, to USB-C, as you can see here. And last but not least, you have your, US, uh, your HDMI cable. And this is gonna be the cable that I'm gonna show you first. This is the cable that I primarily use to connect my laptop to the monitor. So without further ado, let's get into the uh, setup here. So there are gonna be two cables that, you're going to, that I'm gonna to use to power the uh, monitor itself as well as get the display to operate on my particular computer. There are multiple configurations that you can use. I'm just gonna use the USB-C to USB-C connector. And I'm also gonna be using the provided um, HDMI cable as well. So first up we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and plug the USB-C into one of the USB-C ports on the uh, monitor here. So you see you have two USB-C ports. I'm just gonna plug into one of those just so we can give it power. I'm gonna plug the other end of the USB-C to my USB-C port on my computer. And as you can see now, the monitor is gonna be powering up, but we still need to get the display to um, transfer from this monitor, I mean, from this computer to the monitor. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the HDMI cable into the laptop here. Make sure that's all the way in. Then we're gonna take the other end of the HDMI cable and we're gonna plug it into the HDMI port on the monitor. All right, so as you can see here, now we have the HDMI port plugged in and we now, we now have the screen showing on the monitor um, here. So what I'm gonna do now on, your, um, on my computer, I'm gonna minimize that. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go into my display settings. Within my display settings, this currently merged. The, the two monitors are currently merged I don't want those to be merged. I want them to, to um, extend. So I'm going to extend these displays. And then it's going to ask you if you want to keep the settings. So I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to go up here and I want to make sure that I have the configuration right. So I'm going to identify the monitors. So this is monitor two, this is monitor one. But up here, you can see that I don't have those in the proper position. Since monitor two is this monitor, I want to have that on the left-hand side. So I'm going to move this over and then I'm going to apply this change. So now when I go ahead and press identify, I see that this is monitor one, this is monitor two. So that's as simple as it is to set up. Um, at this point, you can use this monitor for multitasking. And one thing I really love about this monitor is you have this really nice stand on the back. This stand allows you to be able to tilt it and put it into pretty much any position that makes, makes it comfortable for you to view whatever you're trying to view on the monitor. Um, and I like that how, how skinny and thin this is, and this monitor is super light. So you can see here, I can hold this really easy with one hand, one finger. It's very lightweight, which makes it awesome for portability. I can easily throw this into my laptop bag, and let me grab my laptop bag so I can show you exactly how easy it is. I can put both my computer and this uh, monitor right into my bag here, and my bag is still lightweight, easy to carry and maneuver with. And it gives me the ability to be able to, you know, whether I'm working 
or um, I'm, if I'm just searching the internet, um, whether it be Amazon, eBay, um, whatever I want to see, I can easily search um, and use both monitors no matter where I'm at. That's one thing I really love about it. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm powering the monitors strictly from this laptop. I don't have any external cables run into the monitor itself. I don't even have the power port plugged into the laptop here. The monitor is receiving its power and input directly from the laptop and it's powered on. So like I said, it's a very easy setup for this monitor. It's been making my life a lot easier, especially with work. When I have to you know, travel and go to certain places, this makes it so much easier to be able to set up really quickly and have both screens to be able to multitask. So. Um, I really, really love this monitor so far. It's been making my life a lot easier. One of the last things I do want to show you is if you look on the uh, right hand side of the monitor, you can see that you have a micro USB port and you also have the power button, which is at the top. And you also have another button here that's going to be for changing your inputs or, or going into your, your settings menu. So if you press that button in, I'm going to press it in now, you can see that you can navigate through your um, settings menu and i'm gonna go down through each of the settings so you can see what settings it has to um offer um and this uh, one thing i did not point out this does um produce its own sound um, it has pretty good sound quality as well um and it also has as you can see here i'm gonna press on it you also have free sync capability and you can turn that on and you can be able to use free sync with this monitor as well so that's something that's really cool especially for someone who's going to be doing some gaming um aside from that you um you have your input source so if you had you're connected to the uh, usb um type c1 connector or, or two you could change it to that or if you're connected to a the lightning port so a lot of good stuff here to be able to change like say you can change your brightening set brightness settings and other inf other settings that you see here so just want to make sure i gave you guys that overview of what you can do with this particular portable monitor and on this side, I've already pointed out the HDMI port, as well as the USB-C port up here, and the uh, very top USB-C port. And on the very bo very bottom, you have to have a micro USB, as you can see there. And this, as you can see here, this is a 1920 by 1080 at 60 um, hertz monitor. So it's a pretty good monitor, um, especially considering it's 1920 by 1080, and it has 60 frames per second. So it's it's, it's a great monitor for the like I said, those of you who may, might do some gaming. You can have this as a secondary monitor to do your, your gaming on instead of doing it on your laptop. So with that being said, um, I hope this video was uh, informative to you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this monitor, whether it's setting the monitor up or just general qu questions in particular, please let me know in the comment section down below. But like I said, this monitor has definitely made my life a lot easier and, and I hope it can make yours easier too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.